What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Salty Soil. My name is Damon and today is the start of my reefing journey. I'm going to be setting up a 38 gallon peninsula tank that I got from Fiji Cube and we just got in our first bulk reef supply order. So let's go! All right, so first up, we've got the eShops Nano Skimmer. I plan on having about um, four to five fish in the tank, so I decided to get a protein skimmer to get rid of the leftover food and fish waste. Next up, we've got the Finex Titanium Heater. I chose this heater because my dad runs one in his tank and it hasn't failed him yet, so, you know, having reliable parts is gonna be key to success of the tank. And then, you know, for the floor of the tank, I decided to go with the always reliable carob sea sand. Um, the live sand will help me maintain a healthy tank and keep my mineral levels in check. And then as for the aquascape of the tank, we're actually gonna build our own. I got, we ordered about 25 pounds of mortar rock and I also ordered um, E Marco 400 bonding mortar kit. Um, we don't know what kind of shape we want yet, maybe Maybe a floating, um, a floating reef structure, or you know, maybe a tree in the middle to uh, represent our plants. You know, gotta wrap my other side of this channel. <laughs> and also to help the process, we got BRS Insta Set. We don't want to be sitting there waiting minutes holding pieces of rock together for it to cure and set. So this actually says that it'll cure super glue within like eight to ten seconds. So. Let's see if it works. I hope it works. And then last but not least, from Algae Barn and Fritz, we got um, Nitro Cycle and Fritz to cycle the tank. All right, first up, we're gonna be doing the Aquascape. Let's go. All right, so we end up going for a tree-like structure. We first taped off an area to make sure that we had enough space between the scape and the tank. And then we started with a medium-sized foundation rock. After that, we glued some smaller pieces of marker rock to create the tree, and bruh, Instaset really does work. We noticed that super glue would cure as soon as we sprayed it, and I can't really imagine creating this aquascape without bulk reef supplies Instaset. It really is a game changer. Two hours later. Two. We let the structure sit overnight to make sure the adhesive bonded before we applied mortar. Just follow the instructions that come with the kit to create a workable cement-like mixture and apply it to every spot that is super glued. The next morning. We had a hard time finding a stand for under 100 that could hold a 38 gallon peninsula, but luckily we came across the Imagitarian Brooklyn Metal Tank Stand from Petco. It's meant for a 40 gallon breeder, but it checked off all the boxes we were looking for. It was under budget, looked modern, and had spots that allowed me to add custom shelves to display plants. One eternity later. After what seemed like forever, the tank finally came in. I kind of forgot to film it, but you can see the custom shelves that we added. We stopped by Home Depot, picked up four panels of Rubbermaid chestnut laminated wood shelving, and then we cut them down to size. For the top of the stand, we used a sheet of 50 millimeter underlayment to disperse the weight of the tank. Now it was time to make some salt water. We made around 35 gallons with a selenium at 1.026. While we waited for the salt water, we made the final touches to the aquascape and then filled it up with live sand. As you can see, we're making pretty good use of our household products. We spread out the sand using kitchen spatulas and displaced the water using a colander. A 
a few moments later. All right, so we just finished filling up the tank with the water. The temperature is almost up to 82, it's about 81.6. Um, we're using a temporary power head. And then to, to cycle it, we're gonna use Fritz Turbo Start 900 in conjunction with Algae Barnes Nitro Cycle. So the tank is about almost 40 gallons, so we're gonna use two of these bottles. One of these bottles is usually used for 25 gallons. So we're, we'll pour this in first and then we'll use about 40 milliliters of nitro cycle. Hopefully that'll start the cycle going, get some nitrifying bacteria up in there. Maybe our ammonium levels will go up. We'll test later tonight after um, the bacteria sets in a little bit. Many tic tacs later. So it's been a couple days now, almost a week. I've been testing ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate every day. And the levels of the ammonia and nitrite are pretty much down to zero now. It means the cycle is complete. I can't wait to add fish and coral to this bad boy. But look, added my first inhabitant. It's a hula stitch. What's up y'all, Scooby 2 here. So that does it for this video. The tank is finally cycled and we're going fish shopping. Yes, you heard it right, fish shopping. So follow the Salty Soy on our Instagram for more content, all right? So make sure to like, like comment, comment, subscribe. We I'm out, out. Peace. peace. What's up y'all, Scooby 2 here. So that does it for this episode. Oh, video, huh? <laughs> so make sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Come here, no? <laughs> Follow our account on the Salty Soil on Instagram for more content. Dude. <laughs> what is it? Like, comment, subscribe? Like, comment, subscribe. So make sure to like, share. What's that? Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Scooby 2 signing out. <laughs>